Hey guys, how's it going? I'm making this video today to expose Ray Comfort. If you guys have been enjoying the videos, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. God bless. So, Ray Comfort is this stupid, unsaved bastard who adds works to the gospel on YouTube. This man is a disgrace. He's a reprobate that goes out evangelizing people with the law, telling people they have to follow the law to be saved. He says it's not enough to believe in Jesus to be saved. He says you need the works. This guy is one of the most obvious false teachers. He's a front loader of works, and he's a stupid bastard that's led millions of people to hell. And he's going to hell. Mark 8.15 Jesus tells us to beware the leaven of the Pharisees. The leaven of the Pharisees is teaching work salvation. It's hypocrisy because they haven't done it themselves. I'm going to play a clip from Sniffing Out Pharisees, playing a clip of Jonathan Shelley from the Baptist Bias. He says it in this clip. If it, if oh, my favorite it disciple is Judas Iscariot. He being dead for 2,000 years still speaks, and he speaks volumes. He's a signpost of where not to go and the sternest of warnings of what not to do. Judas has taught me of the self-deceptive nature of hypocrisy, of the subtlety of greed. That the love of money really is the root of all evil. He showed me that it's not enough to believe in Jesus. He showed me that it's not enough. That's why he loves him. <laughs> That's it. You can't even get any more but, clear. How could Judas ever be your favorite disciple? Like, that's literally, it's almost like he's like, I'm the devil. I'm wicked. Please don't have I love to do Judas with me. Iscariot. I mean, what else does this guy have to say? He said, stop sinning. He said, that Judas is his favorite disciple. He says he doesn't believe in once saved, always saved. Judas also repented. Matthew 27, verse 3, Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders. So he literally repents of his sins. Think about this. Judas literally repents of his sins in the Bible, yet he went to hell because he didn't believe. And it's not that he had to do both. He only had to believe. But the Bible says that he never believed. The Bible says he was a devil from the beginning. And All right, guys. So you heard it right there, clear as day, that he said believing in Jesus isn't enough to be saved. That's because he's an unbeliever, he's unsaved, and he's going to hell. Romans 3.28 reads, Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. If you look at any of his evangelism videos on his channel, Living Waters, you'll see that everybody he evangelizes, he tells them they have to follow the law to be saved. He's a stupid bastard. He's leading millions of people to hell. And he's one of the more obvious false teachers on YouTube. There's a lot that are more subtle, but this guy is just plain as day. Tells people they have to follow the law. Tells people it's not enough to believe in Jesus. God bless, guys. Have a good one.